What's up, YouTube? This is Pokemon Wi-Fi Battle number 74 against Bastard99, excuse my French, but that's his name, uh, from YouTube. Uh, this was just a standard OU under Wi-Fi Battle. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, um, I'm starting my Shedinja lead here with a Focus Sash, obviously. Um, I don't really want to switch anything into his uh, Flare Blitz, so I'm just going to keep it in anyway and... Uh, try my best to get as much damage off uh, against it as I can, so I'm just going to hit it with a Shadow Snake. Uh, I predicted it around three quarters of its health, which it did, which is, um, that's nice, so uh, that's a pretty good job, because um, that this thing's really, uh, yeah, a real pain with uh, Flare Blitz. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my Infernape. I don't normally really use OU Pokemon, but I just put a couple in this team, uh, as it would be uh, a mixed uh, tier. I go for the Mac Punch there, but he uh, protects off. I haven't seen protect on Darminism before, but that's kind of new. Anyway, so I thought he'd go into his Gengar, so I went for the Stone Edge, but instead he went into his uh, Swamp Hurt there, which is, this is alright. Unfortunately, I'm not carrying Grass Knot on this uh, set, so I was a little worried, but I did get that uh, critical hit there on Stone Edge um, there, so that does actually put me in range of KO with close combat. Uh, he protects once again with his Swamp Hurt there. Um, but he does keep it in, um, I guess probably that would have been his best move to keep it in there. Um, so, close combat does take the Swamp Hurt out, uh, which is good because I didn't have too much to actually do against that thing. And as I said, I wasn't carrying a uh, Grass Knot either. Okay, so in comes the Haxorus. Um, I'm thinking I should just go for a, a Stone Edge here, try and get a critical hit on it. Um, because it may just go straight off for the Earthquake against me, because I have that uh, defense and special defense drop. Uh, but it does go for the Dragon Dance there, so um, whatever, that's fine. I'm just going to go for the Mac Punch uh, here, because I know I'm going to get outsped uh, by this uh, thing that shouldn't even be in OU. <laughs> um, um, interesting, he has a Rocky Helmet. I haven't seen that before. But um, as I thought, yep, he's going to go for the Earthquake there and take my Infernape. Uh, down, but Inferno did really uh, well there. Haven't used him for ages and ages. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my Ferris suit here because this is about the only thing that can actually take a hit apart from Umbreon, and I'm pretty sure I, I kind of want to save Umbreon for the latter of the match anyway. So he does about half to me because I am Everlight um, Ferris Seed, and Ferris Seed is extremely bulky. Um, I do finish that Haxorus off there with a Gyro Ball, which is fine. So obviously he's going to bring out his Darmanitan again. Um, I, once again, I'm in the situation where I don't have a Pokemon that can really wants to take that move, so I'm going to have to leave him in there, um, just as death fodder, really. And I know I know Flare Blitz and Iron Barbs are going to um, uh, do a little bit of uh, hurt to him as well. So he's down in the just a very very low um, health there. So I'm going to bring in my um, Umbreon here for a, just a bit of a Flare Blitz superpower kind of bait, because I am actually carrying Sucker Punch, and that will actually take his Dimension out, which is uh, sweet. Um, I love doing that in unsuspecting sucker punch with uh, Umbreon. Okay, so uh, he brings in uh, Scrafty. I know Scrafty is probably going to be one of those drain punch, bulky, bulk up, dragon dance kind of sets. So I bring on my Metagross because I'm fairly certain I can take anything this thing uh, uses. Or I, I actually thought it might use bulk up or DD. Um, DD on the switch there. Um, but he goes for the protect there. Uh, that's kind of fine because I go for the agility because. I'm going to try and sweep the rest of his team here with Metagross because I do have the correct moves for it. Um, I go for the Meteor Mash there. I'm thinking you'll get qu kind of close to it because it, well, it's Metagross, of course. Uh, it does get does do pretty well. Um, Scrafty is a little bit tanky as well, obviously. He's got some uh, EVs and health or defense there. Um, Drain Punch doesn't do a hell of a lot, obviously, because it's, uh, it's looking to be one of those uh, more bulky uh, kind of uh, sets. Anyway, I just got to play it safe and go for the Earthquake there. I'm going to take the uh, Scrafty down there. Um, a Life Orb uh, Metagross um, as well. So in comes the Gengar. I was kind of faced with a decision to go for me a Meteor Mash or Ice Punch. I go for the Ice Punch because I really don't want to miss altogether and do no damage. I'd rather do like a huge chunk of damage than uh, just a little bit. But for some reason he goes for the Hypnosis there. I'm not sure if that was a misclick or whatever. But um, that kind of sealed the game for him. If he did actually uh, knock out my Metagross then, it probably would have been even closer. But um, his last Pokemon was Breloom. Um, I did have Umbreon and Nidoking left. Uh, Nidoking was a good counter for Breloom anyway, even if Metagross did go down. Um, but yeah, that's about all for this. Uh, battle was a pretty close 3-0 there, um, just hanging on there. 
Um, I'm going to try and, try and get a couple more of these Wi-Fi battles up. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and please leave any comments and likes. That would be uh, highly appreciated. And uh, peace out, everyone.